Welcome back to Morning Joe. Joining us now from Washington, Puerto Rico's Republican Governor Luis Fortuño, who has endorsed Mitt Romney and the Democratic Governor of North Carolina, Bev Perdue. Thanks both for joining us this morning. Good to see you. Good morning. morning. Governor Fortuño, I want to start with you. Uh, you have endorsed Mitt Romney. A recent poll from Univision taken last month shows among Latino voters, President Obama leads Mitt Romney head to head 67 percent to 25 percent. Where has Mitt Romney gone wrong with Latino voters? Well, actually, where has the Republican Party in general gone wrong? That, that perhaps is the right question, and I have been pretty vocal about it. I believe the tenor of the public discourse has been off, generally speaking, but I believe once we have a nominee, that will be corrected and will be competitive. Will be corrected how? Because Mitt Romney has talked at debates about, quote, self-deportation. Do you understand what that means exactly, and how does that resonate with people uh, in Puerto Rico, for example? Of course, even though we are American citizens, uh, but in general, if for the Hispanic community, it doesn't resonate well. And, and actually, I have been very, quite forthcoming with all uh, Republican nominees uh, about the need to uh, correct our course on that. But at the same time, I must tell you, in the Hispanic community, there are other issues as well. Lower taxes is important. Education is extremely important, and faith and family as well. Governor Perdue, I'll turn to you. The state of North Carolina, obviously a critical state in this presidential election. What is top of mind right now and where are the voters in your state sitting as they watch this Republican race play out with President Obama for now kind of sitting on the sideline watching himself? Well, we are watching the conversation around the Republican uh, primary with dismay or glee from whatever your perspective is. You know, it's a circus. Uh, who would have thought in this time in our lives we would be talking about contraception and choice? We thought those issues were dead years ago. Everybody in my state is focused on jobs, jobs and more jobs, and that's why the president's uh, message resonates with us. Those 23 months of job growth are really important to the state of North Carolina. We are a uh, in, in play state. Everybody knows that. I think the enthusiasm and the outpouring of support for the president is incredibly strong at this point in time, and I think he's going to take the state. Governor Fortuna, I want to drill down on this question of your party and, and the Hispanic vote in, in the upcoming presidential election. Why isn't your party doing more? What's, the, what's their motivation for failing to do the kind of things you're talking about? And, and again, as specifically as you can, what would you like to see, for instance, Mitt Romney say on these issues different from what he's saying? Well, let me tell you, I have discussed this directly with Governor Romney, and for example, he came out uh, aggressively on a number of issues uh, having to do with economy and job creation, including the Hispanic community, uh, in specifically uh, in, in all of his uh, initiatives, lowering taxes, bringing back uh, fiscal responsibility to uh, our government at the federal level as well, uh, education and how important it is for our kids. But, Governor, to be with, all, with all due respect, those aren't the issues you're, you're talking about that you'd like to see him change course on. Well, actually, uh, that's exactly what he has been doing in terms of uh, focusing on what's important. Let me tell you something. When Hispanics get together, it is wrong to believe that all we talk about is immigration. We talk about jobs. We talk about the, our kids' education. Uh, we talk our fa about faith and, and family. And, and so it is, it is wrong to believe that's all we talk about is immigration. Governor Rendell. Hello, Governor Fortuno. It's nice to see you. And we have Governor Likewise. Purdue, one of the best governors in the country. Governor Purdue, uh, can President Obama win North Carolina in November? And what does he have to do to, to increase his chances there? Yeah, I think he can win the state. He's uh, resonating with middle class voters. Uh, they're in and out of the state, all parts of the administration often. And people know the name. Uh, they've got a good shop on the ground. Thousands of people are already engaged in a reelect. And there's just this sense of optimism about what his message is. The second thing, other than the work with the middle class and, and jobs, is his deep commitment as the First Lady's commitment and Jill Biden's to the military. I mean, they are on and off our military campuses. They understand, you know, the end of the war of Afghanistan and Iraq is powerful, killing Osama bin Laden. But much deeper than that, Ed, they get what it takes to be a military family. And this initiative around propping up families and assuring them good health care and good retirement benefits and then pilling that over to the veterans, that's a real win in the South. I think that will help him pick up voters that he may not have had in 2008. So I'm really bullish on his chances in North Carolina. Governor Purdue, you've decided not to seek re-election. Uh, some have suggested that the White House or the Obama campaign nudged you into that decision. What was behind uh, your thinking, and why are you not seeking re-election? 
Well, I think if, if the Obama White House had nudged me, they would have nudged me to stay in. There were no conversations between uh, me and the White House. I, I kind of like Joe. There comes a point in time when you just get out. And I have been passionate about education my entire life. I, it's the driver for the people of my state. I believe it's the transformational difference maker in a person's life. And I intend to do a lot of work on education, entrepreneurial stuff, and uh, economic development outside the, the confines of bitter partisan battles. My state is toxic right now in terms of the partisan dialect. Governor Bev Perdue of North Carolina, thanks so much for being with us. Governor Luis Fortunio of the Enchanted Isle of Puerto Rico. Great place. Enchanted Everybody Isle. ought to visit if they haven't You're been. Really it's wonderful. Nice. Thanks and for being with us. The New York Thank you, guys. He comes on. It's it awesome. promotes It really is Puerto a beautiful Rico. place. I got married there. You did? Place. Oh, That's oh, yeah. a wonderful sweet. place. Up next, the Morning Joe football frenzy with Mr. Roger Bennett. We're watching Morning oh, Joe. He got married Starbucks. there. He grew up in Evanston when he's talking to Senator Durbin. Exactly.